Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamoth.com. In this video we're going to study ratios and fractions. Now what is a ratio? It's basically a comparison of two numbers or two quantities. It could be, you know, five kilograms and three miles or whatever. Using division and an example will explain it better. For example, here in this picture we have the ratio of stars to hearts is four to three because we have four stars and three hearts and we read a ratio, we read it using the word two four, two, three and this is the most common way of writing it using a colon and it's also written using just the word two you could see four, two, three or you could see a fraction line and uh, it reminds you of division symbol, doesn't it? because division symbol is almost the same thing and uh, ratios behave just like divisions, okay? So we will be able to use the same kind of math as with divisions and fractions. With them. Another example, the ratio of hearts to all shapes is 3 to 7. Because there's 3 hearts and 7 shapes all total. Now, anything you say with a ratio, you can then also convey the same information using fractions. For example here, Three sevenths of all shapes are hearts, or the ratio of hearts to all shapes is three to seven. That's the same information. Here we just use a fraction. Here we use a ratio. And I like to first of first of all give students exercises where they will translate, so to speak, between fraction language and ratio language. For example, something like this: you have a picture, and then the ratio of blue balls to red balls is what? Okay, I have. Five, six, seven blue balls and two red balls. So the ratio is seven to two. But we also then ask what is the fraction of the blue balls? You know, what fraction of the balls are blue? Okay, we have seven blue balls and nine in total, right? So seven ninths of the balls are blue. And from this picture, the student can also write that the ratio of red balls to blue balls is two to seven. And the ratio of red balls to all balls would be 2 to 9. And then some other fractions too. For example, 2 ninths of the balls are red. In the next problem I want to show you a very powerful idea. A diagram, a bar diagram or block diagram that help us solve any kinds of word problems that involve ratios and fractions. Here's one example. Of the 96 contestants, Three-eighths were women. And what is the ratio of men to women? He's first asking us about the ratio. And then lastly, how many actually are women? Now, I like to solve these kind of problems by making a diagram, which basically shows us the ratio. And it says three-eighths were women. So it means that the contestants were divided into eight parts, and three of those parts are women. So I'm going to draw like a bar here, and then divide that into eight parts. Here to two parts, and to four parts, and then to eight parts. Okay, and three of those eight parts are women, so let's mark them like this. The rest would be men, right? And now the ratio. We can see from here directly the ratio of men to women. Men are five parts, and women are three parts, so the ratio is five to three. It's simple, right? And how many are women? Now, it tells us the total number of the contestants, and so I'm going to mark it here on the diagram like this. There's 96 in all. 96 in total, and it's asking how many are women? Since there's 96 in total and 8 equal parts, I will divide 96 by 8 to find how many are in this one part here. Okay? 96 divided by 8 equals 12, right? So, one block here is 12, and there's three of those blocks for women, so there's 36 women. Okay. Let's look at another example, where we can also use this block diagram or, or bar diagram. A truck contains large and small pillows in the ratio of 3 to 5, and 2,000 pillows in total. And we are asked, how many large pillows are there? And then, what fraction of the pillows are small? 
again this problem is using both fractions and a ratio and uh, let's see what happens we're gonna draw the same kind of bar diagram the whole bar diagram is gonna then symbolize or, or represent those 2,000 pillows all of them and uh, it says there are the ratio is 3 to 5 there would be 3 parts large and 5 parts small pillows so I need to draw 8 parts in total again again 8 parts in my diagram and my total is 2000 and 3 parts are large and the rest are small pillows now, how many large pillows are there? All I need to do is find how, mu how much is in this one block, okay? This much. It is one-eighth of 2,000. 2,000 divided by 8. That's the same problem as 1,000 divided by 4, by the way, which is 250, okay? So one of these blocks is 250. And how many large pillows are there? There's three blocks of them, so my answer is 750 large pillows. And what fraction of the pillows are small? Now we'll look at the diagram again. What fraction of the pillows are small? I have five parts of small, small pillows and eight parts in total, so that's the answer for that. Five-eighths of the pillows are small. My last example has a, this kind of ratio, which is three terms. Three to two to one to four. And that's perfectly fine. A ratio can have three or more terms. A bag of marbles has blue, yellow, and red marbles. And they are in a ratio of three to two to four. And there are 36 blue marbles. How many red ones are there? And how many in total? I'll again draw my diagram. I need to draw three blocks for blue, two blocks for yellow, and then four blocks for red. So that means nine blocks in my diagram in total, right? Let's divide it into three parts first, and then those two. Three. That's not quite equal. <laughs> oh well. Okay, three parts are blue. Blue, blue, blue. And then yellow, and the rest red. Like that. This time we are not told the total number of marbles. It's asking that. But the other, one other piece of information there is, is that there's 36 blue marbles. So now I'll mark that these three blocks here are 36. 36 blue marbles. So one block is of course 12, right? And now it all solves really easily. How many red ones are there? 12, 12, 12, 12, right? 4 times 12 red marbles, 48. How many in total? Okay, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 parts, 9 blocks so to speak in my diagram, each block 12. So how many in total is 9 times 12? Oh, 108 marbles. There. I hope this shows you a little bit of the power of this kind of diagramming, drawing bar diagrams for ratio and fraction problems.